The biggest mistake someone can make is having an idol, a role model, or looking up to someone else. When you look up to people, you subconsciously put limitations on yourself and you don't even realize it. You start to create this divide in your head as it pertains to the level of success that you can obtain. Genuinely, your ultimate purpose ideally should be to realize every bit of your potential. You can't do this if you've idolized someone else's life that seems to have it all. That seems to have what you think you want. And the only way to create the life that you want is to make it a reflection of who you truly are. I don't believe in role models or idols. I don't look up to anybody. No role models and I'm here right now. If you know, you know. But I'm not better than anybody, but I don't see anyone as better than me as well. We're all just people. And really internalizing this took away a lot of my anxiety and fear. Because a lot of your anxiety comes from other people. What they think, how people see you, how they'll perceive you. And the reason for this is because you see yourself as below all those people that you look up to. And that's probably why you're so cognizant of their opinions. I'm almost willing to bet that 99% of your anxiety stems from that. If you don't look up to people, this no longer applies. This is a genuine life hack that I'm giving you right now. And to be honest, I don't really care about anybody like that. And let me clarify what I mean. I'm not talking about a narcissistic, selfish, I only care about myself, I don't care about children dying in third world countries, of course I do. What I mean is I don't care about anyone else's life in that way. What they're doing, how successful they are, how unsuccessful they are, I don't care. I don't care about Drake or Rihanna or Taylor Swift, nor do I care about peers or people I used to know. Like, I just don't care. And don't get me wrong, it's good to take inspiration from certain people. You can admire and be inspired by someone else's work or life path. That's a good thing. Especially if you can take some inspiration and make some change in your life. Inspiration can actually be one of the most powerful things in the world. But don't ever look up to anybody. Don't look at these people as role models or idols. Be your own person. Having role models and idols puts severe limitations on your ability to be everything that you can be. Because when you have a role model, right, you put yourself below that person. You aspire to be like them instead of just being yourself. And in your mind, subconsciously, you will never surpass that person. And you also tend to be blinded and ignore any negative aspects about that person. You can admire someone else's work, but don't become blinded by these people because they're not everything you think they are. Like, I don't have to say this, but no one is perfect. Like, we all have things that we will never tell or admit to anyone else. Things that we'll take with us to the grave. Even the best people that seem to be perfect in terms of life metrics. Famous, successful, rich, family-oriented, humble, you know, just everything. Every person still has some darkness within them. And it's important to understand that about people in general. Like even you yourself, like be honest. Even you probably got one of those, maybe a skeleton or a secret that you're gonna take with you to the grave. I've never seen myself as better than anyone, but I also genuinely don't see anyone as better than me, whether that be Drake or the homeless man down the street. Do not look up to no celebrities, no influencers, no politicians, world leaders. Don't look up to that girl that you're crushing on. Don't look up to your peers, don't look up to no one. Doesn't matter who they are. And also, don't look down on anyone either. It's important not to forget that. God is the only one to look up to. Like, you wanna talk about aura? There's your aura right there. When you adopt this mindset, see how different you start to move. See the confidence start to build within you. See how different your energy becomes. Because you start to walk a little bit taller in this world. And you start to lose your anxieties and fears as well. If you have to have a role model, someone to look up to, then create an imaginary one. Like, imagine, imagine the best version of yourself, everything you want in life, or everything that you see for yourself, that version of yourself has it. And every single day, that version of yourself is doing everything you currently are and is living the life that you aspire to. They're doing everything that you wish you were doing right now. Like, nothing will ever inspire you or motivate you more than imagining the life that you want for yourself. And if you haven't gotten the point yet, what I'm pushing for is for you to be an individual, is for you to be your own person. Like, genuinely, fuck whatever celebrity idol or role model you have, Imagine the best version of yourself. That is your role model. You're living your own life and you're on your own path and that's something that will never change. So don't try to follow anyone else's. And try to make choices based on how that version of yourself would feel about them. The biggest mistake that I made when I liked a girl or had a crush, I'd look up to them and I'd put them on a pedestal. Like I'm sure you've done this before as well. But I would put them above me and it was a challenge that I aspired to. But I'll admit, a lot of times because I was bored in school, chasing girls was something that gave me a purpose. But the worst thing you can do is put them on a pedestal because they can pick up on it. Just try to remember, if you act like a fan, they'll treat you like one. But if you treat her like an equal, that will 100% be better and provide better results as opposed to looking up to her. It's funny, I remember the last job interview that I had, I actually channeled this energy. I remember the night before, I was a bit nervous, like I was laying on my bed and I was trying to break down, why am I so nervous to talk to this person? And it was because I saw the interviewer in a position of authority above me. So I was trying to adhere to his will by making sure I said all the right things. And I had to think to myself, he's not better than me, he's just some guy. 
And I remember I channeled that mindset. And when I went into that interview, the first thing I said was, hey, how's your day going? And he was like, oh, uh, it's going. It's a bit busy, though. And I was just like, it's your Friday, though. You're almost there. You're almost to the weekend. Like, I was just keeping it casual. No nerves, no anxiety, unfazed, just confident, assertive, relatable. And I could tell he was a little bit taken aback because he's used to people probably being extremely nervous. But I thought to myself, he's just another dude. Why would I be nervous? I'm unfazed. If I would have looked up to him in a position of authority like he's above me, I probably would have been a lot more nervous and I would have been tripping over my words, filtering every thought, and it wouldn't have gone well. And this mentality is actually how I started making videos in general. I'd have all these thoughts like how people would perceive me, what are they going to think, just as I'm sure you do. Until I had to realize, I don't, I don't care, like we're all just people. And that's my advice for anyone that wants to make videos or content creation or anything to be honest. And I also want to talk a little bit about celebrity worship. This is something that plagues all of society and I'm currently making a short film or piece on celebrity worship right now. But so many people, so many kids look up to celebrities. Every kid's got an iPhone, tapped into social media, constantly looking at celebrities and influencers. And this is creating a collective fear in society of being individuals, of living your life or being your own person instead of always aspiring to be someone else's lie. And I say lie because 95% of what you see is what people allow you to see. People always look for people to look up to because we subconsciously want to externalize our life outside of our hands to do anything to shift away from being an individual. People are terrified of being an individual. People want to be anything but themselves nowadays. And that's honestly the driving message of my videos in general. Be an individual because that's what you are. You should want to be yourself and not anyone else. And when you look up to people, you start comparing yourself. Comparison is the thief of joy. We all know that quote. But also, comparing yourself is quite literally the biggest waste of time I could possibly imagine. Because everyone's had a different life path. They grew up in different environments. There's billions of factors that go into why people are where they are. Just like there's billions of factors that go into why you are where you are. And sure, you can boil it down to hard work. If that's what makes you work harder, then sure, go for it. But the reality is there's plenty of people that work hard that aren't nearly as successful as some celebrities that you might have idolized. If we lived in a fair world, actors and athletes and celebrities would not be making more than people who save lives, first responders, heart surgeons, etc. But it's not, and it just is what it is. So comparing yourself is absolutely pointless and a giant waste of time. Be your own person, be your own individual, write your own story and carve your own path. It's good to take inspiration here and there, but never forget you are living your own life and that you have no limits. When you have a role model, you're basically saying that you want to be that person. Yeah, just yeah, just don't don't look up to anybody. Be your own person. You got no limits. You got this. I believe in you, and I hope you believe in me as well. Anyways, that was a good yap session. I'll leave you guys with that. Anyways, make sure you stay true. I'll talk to you guys real soon. Peace.